Hickok 45 here. You know, I'm not really feeling too elite today, but I do have a Canic TP9 Elite Subcompact. That'll make up for it. Whoa, sorry, bowling pin. Thought you needed a bath. <laughs> Let's give you a bath from over there, too. Woo, nice. <laughs> Subcompact. That's what they call it. Subcompact. That means, I guess, less than compact, smaller than compact. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. You know, this is the Canic. Uh, we've not uh, looked at this. Been out, I think, for a couple of years. But it is the Elite Subcompact. It's just a smaller version of, of course, the TP9. Did I say TPS? TP9, if I misspoke. And. Uh, Yep, it's, it's fairly small, but it's uh, small in some ways. You know, the grip is pretty short, but you know, it's got a, kind of a long slide and a, a thick slide. So, uh, you know, a little different. I'll have to do what so many people hate to see me do, compare it with a Glock. But again, the Glock is kind of the, uh, the Ford F-150. Everybody knows it and the sizes and everything. So it's just a point of reference. So we'll, uh, we'll do some of that. And I wanted to do that. Uh, let's really check the accuracy on a couple of these pots. All right. That is accurate. Very accurate. How about on that tree? Oh, how about that, uh, can? Yeah. <laughs> All right. So the subcompact, uh, canic, Jonic, yeah, I guess it's supposed to be pronounced. Uh, but anyway, pretty nice little pistol, I'll have to say. It's, uh, you know, it, it shoots fine. I've been shooting it some. I think I shot it in a Sunday video recently, didn't I? Sunday morning video. And, uh, yeah, it, it, it's fine. It's a good shooter. It, it doesn't, uh, you don't get a lot of recoil. Part of that's because of the weight. And I had that written down. I lost, but misplaced my, my weights. But... It, it weighs over 24 ounces a little bit. It's like 24.4, something like that, okay? And so uh, you, you don't want to really think of it as a Glock uh, 26, all right? I mean, you can. Uh, don't let me tell you how to think. You can think of it as whatever you like. But it's, it's a little bigger. You notice uh, on the length and everything, it's a, it's a longer gun. It's more like a Glock 19, really, in, in slide length okay and also in weight okay so uh, you do have a shorter uh, slide or grip rather than a Glock 19 not let's put them all three up here together you want to should I put the mag back in this one just so there we go so we have 19 the Canic and then the Glock 26 so we line them up closer there so as a frame of reference, that gives you an idea. Everybody knows the sizes on these, these popular Glock models, whether you hate them or own them or whatever, or your Navy SEAL and you carry one, right? So, uh, so the slide's about the same as the 19. Uh, the grip's a little shorter, but so for me, my purposes, I'm gonna think it's, you know, and if you got the magazine in it, I guess, I don't know if you can get it with a shorter uh, back, uh, base plate or not on that, but you, you essentially have a Glock 19 in terms of size especially if you put the other magazine in it. You know, then you really have a Glock 19, of course. And uh, that magazine holds, what was it, 15 rounds. Okay, so if you want 15 rounds, you basically have you know, a Glock 19, except it weighs more than a Glock 19 by, I don't know, three quarters of an ounce or something like that, okay? So just to give you an idea where, where it fits. Now, a lot of people you, uh, probably you know, think I obsess a little bit too much over weight, thickness, and size of the, the slides and all that kind of thing. Uh, and so that doesn't matter to you. Uh, you just like it because it is a less expensive option and it seems to be a, a quality. You know, these, these Canics are nice firearms. How many people are out there competing with them right now? You know, I mean, as I speak, uh, unless you're watching this at midnight, uh, they, they're just really well made, uh, and there's lots of different models in every size you can imagine. And so they're they are good guns, and they're less expensive than a lot of their, their counterparts. Let me show you what I was talking about on thickness. I don't know if I got a, I don't know, I got, this is an old Phobos holster for Glock 19. And this won't go in it, 
Now part of it's a trigger guard, but it's a little wider, you know, your buttons and controls on it are a little, little uh, extend outward more and that kind of thing. That's not gigantic, it's not a gigantic difference. This is a uh, pocket holster for a, I think it's a Glock 26, yeah, Glock 26. And it won't go in that, see. So i just give you an idea, okay? And speaking of that, we, uh, <laughs> we appreciate the support from Alabama Holster, of course. And uh, uh, you see them there on the, on, the, on the target. Great outfit. They've been using their holsters for a long time, 11 or 12 years, as it turns out. I didn't realize it had been that long, but uh, they make pocket holsters that I use all that, every day. Uh, belt holsters and all kinds of different, different, even a purse holster. But great outfit. Uh, simple designs, but functional, work really well. So, appreciate their support. And I'm gonna shoot this some more. Is that okay? Okay. So like I said, it's so, I think it, uh, MSRP is over 400, but it, I believe you can buy it for about $400, maybe less, okay? And, uh, you know, it's, it seems to be well-made, you got nice serrations. Uh, it's not night sights, but it's just phosphorus or whatever on the front and blacked out on the back. And you're you're ready with almost any uh, optic, I believe, on that thing. And uh, so, if you like an optic, you can go that route. Got your Picatinny rail. Uh, there's an extra back strap for you, know, you adjust the size on that. Uh, trigger's not bad at all, I'll have to say. And uh, it, you know, everything you read about it, uh, they go overboard almost on the nitride coatings on the barrel and internals, the slide and everything. And then it's also tungsten seracoded. This one is tungsten seracoded, in case you wondered about the, the shade or the color that you get there. So it looks pretty nice. Okay. It, it, and I, I, I'm not here to hate on it. it it's, it's a good shooter. I, I just, you know, whenever I get a little gun with a, a thicker slide, I, it just feels a little bit top heavy to me. Uh, can't help it. It does. But it seems to shoot really well. on out. Let's try the red plate on the left. Yeah. Nice old gun. How about a two liter right, right there. And right there. <laughs> now you might be wondering about that magazine. I did not explain that magazine. That's to uh my other TP9 that I have, the, the only one I own, I guess, my, my first one I bought years ago. And it takes those magazines, they work well, which is great. I could shoot a little bit more, right? Without reloading. So we'll, we'll shoot a little bit more. Uh, see, anything I'm not telling you about. Uh, again, you know, it's been out for a couple of years. I'm just now getting around. I've had some requests for it and uh, just have not gotten around to it, like about 500 other firearms. And uh, there's an important note on the side. I just noticed that fires without magazine. Wow, what's that mean? Yeah, okay. That's what we like, really. Most people do. Uh, that's a safety device with some, you know, disconnector where if you, your magazine's not in the gun, it won't. You can't pull the trigger. This one does not have that. There's a warning. It's a warning. You know, kind of like read the instruction manual. Okay. So, uh, what else do you want to know about it? Uh, again, a, a, a nice uh, price option there, a quality firearm. There are so many uh, wonderful firearms being made today. And, uh, you know, you can, you can buy a reliable firearm that, you know, is considerably less than others, put it that way. You know, whether it's a shotgun or a handgun, I guess, or a rifle, you know, for that matter. And, uh, and probably get uh, good service out of it. Probably get good enough service out of it if you're not planning to go into battle for 20 years and without the uh, benefit of a gunsmith or, <laughs> or armorer, whatever that might be. So we'll shoot a little more. I'll let you go. So, so oh yeah, you know what? I forgot to, no I didn't. Duh, oh, I'm losing my mind. I started to say a holster came with it. Where is it? It's on, no, it's on my belt. So you get a holster with it. I forgot to mention that. And I think you can uh, adjust it for inside the waistband or outside. Okay. <laughs> I knew that holster was somewhere. Okay. Let's just shoot something here. Oh man. Feels good. Not a 
bad little pistol. Oh, we're we're not gonna let this two liter right here survive, are we? Oh, thank you. Well, why to go now? I'm all juiced up. Yeah. <laughs> Made me mad. I had to empty that magazine. So uh, I can't tell you how many times I've had to wash my clothes more than the once a year that I normally wash them because I got uh, two liter juice all over them. Anyway, yeah, the Canic TP9 uh, Elite uh, SC is the official name, stands for subcompact. And I've kind of pointed out how compact or subcompact it is. Okay, parts of it are more like a Glock 19. The grip is a little bit more like a Glock 26. But uh, that's what you get, kind of a combination there. And uh, about 400 bucks, so might be something you want to look at if you're looking for a pistol in this, this size range. Okay. Glad you came out. Life is good. Oh yeah, that's better. This is a great gun for defense. Oh hey, didn't see you guys there. Uh, while I've got you here, I want to remind you of our friends over at Talon Grips and Ballastall. Talon Grips makes uh, grips, can you believe it? Uh, for all different types of firearms. You can get rough texture or more of a rubberized texture. Uh, it just sticks right on there. You know, really affordable, really cool option to Im improve the grip for your handguns um, or, or rifles. Uh, so please check them out at talongungrips.com. You'll be glad you did. And also Ballastol. Uh, Dad has been using Ballastol for many years. It's a cleaner and a lubricant, and it's non-toxic. Uh, it works really great, and we're happy to have them on board since it's been a part of our shooting endeavor for a very long time. So go to ballastol.com, talongungrips.com. And also, while you're out there, I'm juggling all these things here. Also, uh, while you're on the internet, please do check out our other social media like Hickok45 on Facebook. There's also Hickok45 on Twitter, the real Hickok45 on Instagram. There's a John underscore Hickok45 on Instagram where I do some things. There's Hickok45.com. Uh, you can find us also on GunStreamer. So check out all that stuff and then watch more videos.